Yo, what is up YouTube, it's Darkfang here, back with another episode of the Law series. The series where I come up with law for you all to, uh, in enjoy. I'm sorry, I just tried to come up with a good intro for this series. It didn't work out. But anyway, hopefully that'll come to me. Anyway, um, today we're talking about Bomb King and Lian and how they connect to each other and how their bows were sent to the realm. Remember, most of these episodes have little to no evidence, and as well as that, and as well as that, the if you haven't watched, if this is the first time you're watching one of my lore videos, I would advise you to go back to the first episode, because that's like the main, like the base story for all these episodes, and then you can just come back and watch any of these. Then none of them are in order, apart from like as, as long as you watch the episode one, these this will kind of make sense, I guess. I guess this series you might want to watch the last episode, Wings, because it's kind of connected to that one. Apart from that, um, that's, with that said, enjoy this video. Just a motherfucking copycat. Somebody tell these bitches the professors here. You know they try to box forever, rock it extra weird. They saying this Illuminati shit, puppeteer. Elevated, you ain't even on a second tier. Alright, so our story begins after the birth of Princess Lian, who is the daughter of the newly crowned king of the realm, who is later in life be known as Bomb King. After the death of his wife, the king swore that he would give as much time as he could to his daughter, and that he did. The people of the realm loved the king. He was a king that was fair to all. He let everyone be free, and there was no unfair laws around. All was going good and for the king, until the people of the arena came to recruit the king. Why did they want to recruit the king, you may ask? Well, back when the big war of the realm was going on, more on that in another episode, the king, the king had made like weapons like such like mainly bombs that would help for the cause to um kill the other side he had lots of skills in working with bombs and the people of the arena the recruiters i'm gonna call them from now on wanted to use them to make the people entertainment happy the king declined the offer but as i said but as i said before the recruiters don't take no for an answer they left that day but everyone knew they would be back to take him the king had to prepare for this. He knew that they would come back and take him one way or another. And so from that day, he taught his daughter how to rule the kingdom if anything were to happen to him. He taught her how to, like, basically how to rule and how to defend herself if anything bad were to happen and how to use weapons such as, like, guns, like the one she uses now. Many weeks had passed and she had now learned a lot. And so the king gave her a diamond, not only for a reward for learning everything, but as a leaving present, she didn't know this. The diamond was only the diamond that she Lian got was the only one in the realm. And as I said in the last episode, the Drogo story wings, Drogos wanted it, and so he broke in, burnt the place, and left the place in ashes, pretty much. During the fire, the king had had a sudden disappearance. So what happened to the king? You might for like people watched our last episode, so what happened to King, you might be asking yourself. Well, the recruiters sent some people to kidnap the King. Once they got the recruiters, once like the kidnappers got him back to the recruiters, they knew that the King would like not want to go, he, he would resist, he would try and do something. So basically what they did was brainwash him and put him into a ready-made suit, the robotic suit that we all call Bomb King. Yeah, so... I know most people think that he's just a robot that was made by someone, maybe like Pip or someone like that. But I think he's more of like a person that, that he, he was a normal king that got sent into this suit. Since he was brainwashed, one of the like side effects was that he was a madman. So, like he like for, like he just became crazy and a madman. And yeah, but he still remembered how to make bombs, and he turned in to the bomb king. So he's kind of like. If you ever watched a show called Adventure Time, I'm sorry I'm going into this, but there's this character named Ice King, and like, he used to be this, like, normal civilian named Simon, but when he put on this crown, he turned, like, into a madman, he's crazy now, and it's kind of like that, um, he's kind of like that now, he's crazy when he got put into suit. I was talking to this, there was a guy on my Discord named Ghostbuster6 or whatever. Was it 6 or 4? It's 4. 
One is that it's a number. But yeah, and you saying how I watch too many cartoons. I do. But just to give you an idea, it's kind of like that. So yeah, that's pretty much his fate decided. But what happened, that's how he got into the uh, realm, I mean the arena. I've got to start getting used to the toilet, you really know. Anyway, so how, what about Lian? So Lian, after Bomb King left, took charge, but she was nothing like her father. She was strict. She ruled, as they say, with an iron fist. As I said in the last episode, she sent Fernando to the arena for not completing his mission. She set him. Something that the former king would never do. The people, instead of loving her like they loved her father, feared her. And a few months later, the recruiters took her off the throne and into the arena. Because they saw, like, they, like, saw the skill she had. Um, and yeah, that's how she was sent to the realm. I know for sure I have more, I sought more of Bonking ones and her one, but yeah, I think they're more. They have mother, mother daughter relationship, father daughter relationship. Um, but yeah, that's my theory on well, not theory, my law, my version of the law, Bonking and Leanne. Um, if you have your versions, put them in the comment below. You know, I hope you'll enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did. Sub for more. Join the Discord. Links in the description. Description. <laughs> Join the Discord, links in the description. Share the video, click the bell button to get notified of my video. And yeah, I'm um, sorry for not doing many Paladins videos. I'm kind of like hooked on Warframe right now. But I'll try and get some more Paladins videos out for you all. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Wow.